Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I have some inspiration for you tonight with the hashtag blues in July. This is our monthly inspiration hashtag and so I wanted to hop on and share some things with you. First, I'm going to share some posts on Instagram. Uh, these are made uh, by fellow crafters who are using the hashtag for inspiration and so it's really wonderful to see their work. These adorable tags were made by Crafty Lisa. She's got a great little selection here of uh, young adult stickers that she's used with some snowflakes and made some Christmas tags. So cute. Jill made this adorable flower cart card using an image from Peddler's Pack. And I also really love the embossed detail um, that she used on the back of the card. You might be able to see it there. And um, as we keep scrolling, we've got this adorable card from Patty O'Malley. It's a um, Tilda Magnolia stamp. Um, and she's sitting on a, a brick wall that uh, Patty has colored blue. So cute. And the paper here that she used as well has a blue background. And then we've got this adorable tag from Robin Warren. It is so cute. I love how you did the uh, ribbon detail, Robin, um, where you've got this little tiny tag attached and you've looped it all through a ribbon. So cute. An adorable image from our home to yours. And then Mary has uh, stamped out all these different images to use for her Blues in July month. And uh, so cute. These are all images that are now retired from Impression Obsession. And then Mary also made this adorable uh, Fourth of July card. Really, really cute card. Um, let's see what she says here. It is a digital stamp from Verilane Studio. So cute. And then Patty O'Malley made this gorgeous tag. Um, it's with birds and poinsettias, snowflakes, really, really beautiful. And I love the snowflake and bell charms on top. And uh, so I just wanted to share those with you guys. So you can use the hashtag of blues in July, not only on uh, YouTube, if you share a video, but you can use it on um, Instagram as well. And then I also see some posts occasionally on Facebook too. So thanks so much for uh, participating, everyone. Now to share some additional things with you, um, one of the things I wanted to share with you, this is a box of um, drink mixes that I purchase, and I thought I'd share it in July since it's called Blue Raspberry. Um, I really like drinking um, flavored waters. Uh, this um, flavored water is no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives, and uh, there's no caffeine in it. So this is one that I enjoy at night because sometimes I neglect to look and I p choose a drink mix that has caffeine in it and then I'm up all night. So this one I like using at nighttime because it doesn't have any caffeine in it. So really, really um, delicious and it's uh, raspberry and blueberry um, and really, really good. And it's from the brand True Lemon. So if you guys have never tried that before, it's fun. I um, enjoy it. Um, and then also I got some beautiful cards in the mail. So let's take a look at these. This first one is from Joanne. She's a subscriber here on YouTube. And uh, look at that cute sticker she put on the back. I love these great big poppies and the lupin and these cute little yellow flowers too. It looks like maybe a California poppy there. So cute. And she has made an adorable card that she has watercolored. So she watercolored uh, the background here and then she added some sh uh, shimmer spray. It looks like it's maybe the iridescent uh, glitter dust spray because it's all different colors and really sparkly. And then stamped a beautiful dandelion image. Cute little sentiment there. And I love this blue paper here as well. Little polka dots. And every once in a while, there's like a little postmark um, distress in the design so cute and she left me a really nice inside uh, note inside and then on the back she stamped there homemade for just for you by joanne so cute and uh i love that little stamp that's darling so thank you joanne i also got uh, a couple of cards from my friend gabby gabby with an i she even sent one of them in a blue envelope so how is that for um inspiration i have a all of her hair stuck to my finger <laughs> I was out in the garden earlier pulling some weeds and doing some cleanup and things like that. And um, looks like I still have a couple slivers in my finger. I have a couple slivers on my finger there. And um, This card is from Gabby. And uh, look how she did the beautiful background here in blue. This is um, designer paper that she's cut apart into these little strips and then placed it back on the card front. Look, and just uh, a simple white die cut tree. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful, Gabby. I love that. 
this would be a really beautiful um, Christmas card idea as well. So cute. And then she stamped the back there with her um, handmade with love stamp. Adorable. And then she's also made left me a beautiful note inside as well. So thank you so much for that lovely card, Gabby. And then this card is also from Gabby. And this is a beautiful card as well. She's even stamped the envelope here with the hydrangea. And I don't know where the stamp is from, but it's gorgeous. Look at this. Really beautiful, nice big bloom. She's uh, stamped it on watercolor paper, and she's watercolored all of the all of the uh, different petals there of the hydrangea. And watercolor is such a perfect medium for this flower. She's added a little bit of purple in there too. That's gorgeous. And then she stamped the leaves here as well. And then she's also used some linen textured paper here. That's really gorgeous as well. Um, of course, a blue card base. She stamped the back with her Handmade with Love stamp and also a hydrangea, which is a gorgeous detail. And then even on the inside where she left me her note, she stamped it as well. So really, really gorgeous card, Gabby. Thank you so much, my dear. And then I got a card in the mail from Sue Crozier. Sue's also a uh, viewer here on YouTube. So thank you so much, Sue. This card is adorable. I love the big tag and all the stamping you've done in the background. This is an adorable Stamps by Judith image. Um, I'm not sure about this one out here though. I'm wondering if that's a Stamps by Judith as well. That's really cute. Um, but this center one I know is Stamps by Judith. And those are my rain boots from Impression Obsession. And look at the gorgeous cross stitching detail that she's done here. Wow. Sue, your cards are just true works of art. She's got a beautiful um, hemp twine up here, um, or hemp ribbon, and she's got it uh, tied there with a cute little blue and white um, twine bow. So cute. Here she's uh, stamped the back, handmade by Sue, 2022, and a beautiful blue card base as well. And then she's left me a beautiful note inside. So thank you so much, Sue. This is gorgeous. Love those rain boots and cute little gold buckle there. Cute. Cute, cute. Um, so some inspiration that I have for you um, that I've been working on. Um, well, first, let me share these with you. Um, these are some little watercolors that I did uh, when I was down in California in April um, when I was in Yosemite National Park. So I hand painted uh, this little cutie. Um, this is the Yosemite Valley and uh, El Capitan, and I believe this is uh, Yosemite Falls over on this side, or maybe that's Bridal Veil. Um, and then in the back here is Half Dome. You can just barely see Half Dome from the valley floor. So that's a little watercolor image, lots of blues. And then I also painted this one um, while I was there, also used lots of blues and even some greens. Um, and this is Half Dome as seen from the bridge that goes over the Yosemite River, or the Merced River, um, up near the lodge, so cute little paintings. These are just little like two and a half by four um, inch paintings. So really, really tiny and cute. So fun to do. And then um, since this is sitting here, I got a new uh, pencil case recently. Isn't that beautiful with the sunflowers on it? So beautiful. And then on the inside, it has um, another little tray. I guess I could show you that way. Uh, that lifts out and then there's another you know little section down below um so it's not very big but this was um, at the art supply store and uh, so i picked that up for myself and so it doesn't close when i have these uh, larger water brushes in um, but you can put pencils and pins up top and uh, it closes up just fine oh, just have it sitting here on my desk and uh those just tucked inside there for now um, so the other thing I wanted to share with you is some other things that I've been painting um, for the Blues in July inspiration. And uh, this is the sketchbook that I um, ordered recently from Jackson's. This is the Etcher um, Perfect Sketchbook. So, and it has uh, watercolor paper on the inside. And so I thought I would uh, start a sketchbook um, and just kind of do some art for myself. And so there's the inside cover where I've added some um, drawn paint tubes and some little half pans and then just splooshed around some of those new paints that I purchased recently. And I even added some of that new Paul Rubens um, really pretty metallic uh, glitter paint in here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really beautiful. 
So um, then I uh, drew a couple of the paintbrush, the paintbrush that I really like using. It's a really large three quarter inch paintbrush. Um, the pencil that I love using when I'm doing my sketching and then just one of my little uh, uh, fountain pens. And then I was just playing with those new um, oh, Rosa Gallery watercolors and uh, just did these little gradient washes with a rainbow theme. So, but this is the image I wanted to share with you. Um, so I did a little painting of some blueberries. We are just now getting some blueberries ripe. So there are some blueberries from the garden. Um, so I watercolored the background, of course. And then uh, once I had the image drawn in and lined in, I uh, painted it with watercolors. So that was really fun to do. Um, oops, here is some uh, eggs that I drew. And I've got a couple little blue ones tucked in there. So we have some chickens that lay some blue and green eggs. And then uh, this is my chicken coop. So I painted it and uh, lots of blue in the sky. I used blues for the shadows and I even used blues on the windows. Blue is back here to um, depict where the raspberry, raspberries and blackberry patches behind the chicken coop yard. And then this is a uh, sage. And so I use lots of blues to paint this, obviously some greens as well. So really beautiful plant actually. And then I um, painted the nasturtiums, uh, one of the plants that I have down in the garden. Um, I went out and sketched this down in the garden and painted it as well. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, one of the colors that I used in here is um, kind of like a shimmer color. It is called, um, iridescent electric blue and it's from Daniel Smith and so it has a kind of a shimmer to it but it's really beautiful um, but I ended up using lots of blues on these two paintings I used um, blues and greens cobalt teal and amazite the electric blue um, I used Mayan blue and lunar blue and sleeping beauty and then I used lots of uh, Payne's blue gray and even some Indian throne blue so lots and lots of blues are used in these two paintings here and then today I painted um, my coffee mug that I used today. <laughs> and so again, I used um, lots of blues in here, the Mayan blue and the lunar blue, um, which are two really beautiful colors actually. Um, here is the uh, swatch here. So here's the lunar blue and it um, granulates really beautifully. So those pigments really fall apart and uh, really leave a really beautiful um, uh, color on your watercolor paper and then Mayan blue is gorgeous this is actually one of my favorite um, Daniel Smith paints so really really beautiful color uh, so that's my coffee mug and here it is so if you want to see the real thing <laughs> it's uh, you know not quite drawn to scale but <laughs> um, gorgeous mug anyways and it has um, huckleberries real huckleberries that they form the artist forms out of clay and then these are actually real huckleberry leaves that they burn into the firing and it leaves the impression of the um, huckleberry leaf in the clay so really really beautiful pottery made by a montana potter and then the other thing that i um, painted this evening um, we had our first ripe raspberry this evening so i painted uh, raspberries in honor of the ripe raspberry. So I'll probably fill in a couple little things here, um, maybe with something here and a couple little things over here before these two pages are finished, but wanted to share that with you as well and to let you know that I have actually been doing things. <laughs> um, I also had a deadline for Whippersnapper that I just finished. Um, they are gonna be having their uh, fall and winter release coming up soon. Um, so stay on the lookout for that and um, I know Impression Obsession is going to have some releases soon as well. We have one coming up for July and uh, some pretty fun, exciting things. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the things that I had to share with you and I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.